For our next report in Taiwan, we follow environmental inspectors' footsteps as they travel to Zhanghua to investigate the report that local electroplating factories have used hidden pipes to discharge toxic waste into nearby streams and also to learn how the government plans on imposing stricter punishment to fight such criminal acts. This red water is electroplating wastewater that contains high levels of acidity. It comes from an electroplating factory that has used hidden pipes to secretly discharge it into nearby streams. These underground pipes are connected to a nearby canal. Digging out the cement, you will find a huge secret pipe through which the untreated wastewater is discharged into the nearby irrigation system. That irrigation canal is colored black, green and red, all sorts of colors. Nearby farmland is barren and cannot grow any crops. Over the years, 10 electroplating factories in Zhanghua have secretly discharged heavy metals and cyanide into local water system. As the wastewater contains cyanide, comes acid and will produce hydrogen cyanide. The factories normally release the wastewater at midnight or on rainy days. Using radar, inspectors of the Environmental Bureau find the location of hidden pipes. Dozens of containers used to store hazardous substances were also discovered. If they were unable to discharge the toxic waste, they store it in containers instead. The toxic wastewater polluted 270 hectares of farmland. Underground water is used by farmers to irrigate their rice fields. However, we found the rice has been polluted by heavy metals. So we strongly suspect that the factories dumped their toxic waste into the underground water system. Environmental inspectors say if toxic wastes are discharged into underground water networks, it is not only hard to trace the source of toxic substances, but also extremely hazardous to the biological ecosystem of the area. So why do these businesses take the risk of being punished instead of treating their wastewater properly? To treat wastewater requires extra investment and it is pretty costly. Facing a competitive business environment, these companies rather ignore the law. In the past, environmental protection authorities only gave unethical companies fines, which did little to deter them from continuing their dumping. However, in 2005, Following the enactment of the Administrative Penalty Act, offenders became subject to stricter fines. Now the punishment for the offenders is not limited to 20,000 US dollars. As long as we can confirm the time frame of the violation, we can levy fines based on their illegal gains during that period of time. Over the past five years, Taiwan's EPA has discovered 28 polluters and imposed fines of up to 29 million US dollars. The EPA also recently fined four electroplaning factories in Zhanghua 5.7 million U.S. dollars and the ASE's K7 factory in Kaohsiung 3.7 million U.S. dollars. Other than fines, unethical enterprises will also be subject to prosecution. According to the Water Pollution Control Act, Article 36, offenders are subject to criminal penalties. Only through stricter punishments will enterprises realize that exploiting the loopholes of the laws gain them nothing but more trouble.